I'm going to have to agree with Jay Will's video earlier today. I think this phone is very underrated, especially for 2020. Hey guys, it's 10 Minute Tech Reviews, and we are back today to take a look at the video and photo capabilities of the LG Velvet. And just a small disclaimer for you guys, I know I say 10 Minute Tech Reviews, but this video is 11 minutes and 59 seconds. So, yeah. My bad. I'm prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gonna go get Hey guys, 10 Minute Tech Reviews here. Um, what I was able to do was I was able to take this phone out yesterday. Um, it was a nice day. And I got some good video and some good photos. And nothing's been altered about these photos or videos. I basically just took them straight from the velvet, dumped them in here so that I could create this video for you guys to see. Now, from just an average consumer standpoint, these things are great. I mean, I'm not going to get into megapixels and, you know, everything else um, as far as, you know, really nerdy details uh, as far as the camera goes. But it does a great job for a point and shoot to grab video uh, when I was, you know, moving it around while I was actually videoing things. The focus was really quick and snappy, so I didn't have to wait. The zoom feature is pretty good on average, but let's face it, if you're using zoom in most cameras to the full, it's the shot's gonna get just a little bit distorted. It's not gonna be as clear as you think, especially when it comes from a phone uh, for what you get. But on average, it's really, really good. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know, drop the photos and videos in here now drop a little background music into it so you guys can watch it and tell me what you think and then I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, this is the front-facing camera. I uh, took it out on the walk, um, and I've got the um, function turned on to where it's a steady cam built in. Uh, it's, it's really nice. Uh, it got a little bit cloudy on the walk. Looked like it was going to rain a little bit. Um, but I think that the camera's adjusting. Um, I don't know. You guys can just let me know in the comments what you think. But I think it's not really oversaturating anything uh to me the photo quality looks natural um as you know when i hit pockets of sun it seems to you know brighten up a little bit more and then when i hit you know the places of you know that are a little bit more shady it uh you know dims down a little bit so uh overall front facing camera seems to be great on this thing so let's check out some more
All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, photos and video from the LG Velvet. Um, so far, four days in with this phone. Four days? Five days? Um, no complaints at all. Um, I did mention at the top of the video, and I mentioned, you know, what if, you know, well, I don't know if I mentioned it, but if LG was able to put that budget or that advertising dollar into their mobile arena again, or a little bit more, it would be real interesting to see what they could do as far as, um, you know, if they could make noise or make some waves uh, in the area that we have right now in the smartphone arena. But uh, they're not there just yet. Um, but th this phone is going to probably be uh, what I consider to be an underrated phone of 2020. Uh, again, I talked about in previous videos, the build, the design, and it's it's a very, very solid phone. Um, that dual screen case that you see that I've got highlighted in the back, that's the thing that gives this phone its identity, so to speak. Um, it's great without it, but it's even better with it. And as I get into uh, the next videos that I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to be focused on. I want to focus more on this dual screen case, and I want to see what the use cases would be for an average consumer. And I'm not talking about a nerdy consumer like myself or any other techie that's out there. What, what would the average consumer be able to do with this dual screen phone? I mean, other than if you already have an Android phone and you can already multitask, you know, if you're used to that, you know, what leg up does this give you in doing that? And that's what we're going to dig in a little bit more uh, in the next video. And I want to make sure that I uh, come up with something different to look at it or a different perspective to look at it. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please make sure you share this and also smash that like button so that I can keep giving you guys some content. I'm going to try to stay on top of my content for you guys, again, with all things tech. I um, want to thank you guys for coming, spinning. You know, like I said at the top of the video, 12 minutes of your time checking out the video quality and the pictures from the LG Velvet. And again, I will dig more into this dual screen case, which is what makes the phone. Makes the phone special, I should say. So, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. This is 10 Minute Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next video.